Hey, what's up? So I, I wouldn't really call this a build video. I just kind of wanted to like throw something together real quick, partly because I just had the urge to like try handler and I just had, I just, I had to be like a dog and his dog attacks Yasha or something stupid like that. <laughs> it's so stupid, but whatever. It's kind of partly, you know, part of the reason why. And then like, as I just started doing it, like, uh, I was like, you know what? Like I can do this in honor of my friend's dog who actually just passed away the other day fucking cool ass dog man but uh yeah so real quick so just gonna jump in super fast this is what i'm running this is for the fashion and all right so this is the gear the whispering marble anastasia's inspiration probability cord dried clay ring and soul guard right so if you want uh you can drop so like all right, i i always try to keep like one ring as like my quote-unquote utility ring even if I have, like, all my rings for damage, there always is the the one that's, like, the, the weakest link, so to speak, where I'm like, all right, if I need some utility, I can switch this one out. In this case, that's this one, right? So, like, so, excuse me, sorry, sorry, if I'm, like, running through Yasha, and I'm in the Forbidden Woods, and I'm, like, I'm not fucking dealing with this right now, I have swiftness as my trait, and then I'll switch my ring to this. So I'll drop one stack of Bulwark for the, for the move speed and the stamina, right? So shit like that, or if, like, if I took some, some, uh, some hits... And I want to just regen, I'll just quickly swap to this, you know? Or there's the other one. Oh, they buffed the shaman. Alright, cool, cool. But yeah, so you could, you know, you get my point. You can mess around, right? And then, um, so for my traits. The traits I kept messing with. Um, I took off Rugged. I'd rather just have the regrowth, right? So anyway, so let's just go through it. These are the two that come with the, with the uh, you know, come with the, the build, right? Because these are your archetypes. I chose Regrowth. I Originally, I had Siphoner and Regrowth, and I did not have Blood Bond. And I was like, oh, well, shit, I totally forgot about Blood Bond, so let me try this. So I put that on. You can notice the difference. You can take the hit. And then I was kind of like, well, now I have to decide between Regrowth and Siphoner. And I thought maybe I'll put one point into Regrowth just to keep Anastasia's ring going. Because you need if you have at least one point of Regrowth, that ring is always active. But I was like, you know what? Like, let me just dump all the points into regrowth. Fuck, I don't really need Siphoner. Um, I should be regening quite a bit, especially with the... with the. I have Tranquil Heart on now. I wasn't using it before, but now I'm using it, so we'll give it a shot. I wish there was, like, a tanking dummy where you can, like, take a hit and then see your, your health regen, right? Like World of Warcraft has. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Speaking of Relic, I just showed it. Crit chance, range damage, crit damage. You can probably fuck with this if you want, no problem. Do what you want. With this setup, I have my five stacks of bulwark. I have the haste from this, so I'm moving fast. I have uh, swiftness, so I'm moving fast, and the bulwark. And then I have this, so you're getting 15% damage from the dried clay ring if you're at five stacks of bulwark. I have world's edge with reinvigorate because I just you have no AOE otherwise, so you need something. I have these for the theme, right? I have boar, I have momentum on it, and then I have boar, and then I have slayer on this with corrosive rounds, right? So like. You know, every once in a while you can throw out this switch and then just kind of do your thing. Again, this build is just, you know, just a quick thing I threw together just for shits and giggles and to, like, honor my friend's dog, right? So, um, I'm missing something. The rest of the traits, I guess, I, I didn't really mention, but it's, like, pretty standard. Like, I, I feel like... I'll never, like, not run these traits. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless I'm doing some meme shit where, like, I have, like, the infinite stamina ring on, I'm always going to have the stamina traits. Fortify is fucking mandatory on Apocalypse. Barkskin is fucking mandatory on Apocalypse. Spirit and Expertise, it's like... I, it would feel bad to play without that. Even if I'm not running a mod build, like, to not have my mod up, like, it would just feel bad. Health is fucking mandatory. Right? So it's like, you don't really have a lot of leeway. You do have, like, the, I guess the 20 points of leeway from from the DLC. Like, the extra 20 points we got. But that's about it. But yeah, anyway. Uh, moving on. Hey guys, so I wanted to just make a little addendum real quick. Um, I just wanted to clarify some things. And note some things. So, in some of the clips, I'm actually not wearing the probability cord. I was still kind of experimenting with the build. And I, and I forgot to, to throw it in there. Um, also, another thing you could do is you can obviously put Handler in the primary to get the dog to resurrect you, right? To be even safer. You can't extend your abilities with Hunter that way by hitting weak spots, but it's okay. It's completely up to you. Like on some bosses, I might actually do that. And then um, you can obviously use different weapons, right? If you want. I, I like this for the theme. I think I already said that, actually. Also, one thing that I said was that 
this would be my utility ring. I could drop that for like the movement speed ring and stuff, but you are actually sacrificing damage if you do that because of the dried clay ring. Because it gives you damage per bulwark, right? So if you want, you can switch this ring for your as your utility ring. Because that's giving you DPS, because it's giving you like reload speed and stuff. And haste, you know, whatever, but it's it's not giving you just like raw damage. So I just wanted to clarify that real quick. I mean I won't lie. <laughs> I was just fucking around and made this build just I don't know just kill you know just being whatever right as I as I'm prone to do and it's nothing fancy or anything I, it's like it's not something I really want to make a video on but then I thought like yo the title would be a dog and his dog and there's no fucking way I can't do it now I have to do it so here we are <laughs> About to die to this fucking boss. I die to this boss all the time. Well, not all the time. I definitely didn't rest the thingy. Oh, I don't even have relics. Yeah, I definitely didn't rest the thingy. Wait, is there another one? <laughs> ew! Ew! No means no! No means no! Oh god, that was funny. Okay. Oh, now we are getting really good, great content. Great content! Wait, hold on. I'm gonna show you something. How does it still see me? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. That's all I was concerned about. Oh my god! I never noticed that sound effect. That's fucking awesome. It sounds like Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars is the shit, dude. I fucking love Star Wars. If you guys want to talk to me about Star Wars in the comments, dude, I'm so down. Actually, speaking of Christmas, like, what am I doing? Uh, around the Christmas season, I, I I tend to to get back into Star Wars. I'm always into Star Wars, right? I'm always like, but I go I go like in and out of like binges, right? And I generally binge around Christmas time. But I'm I just binged so badly like a couple months ago, like. Just any any kind of Star Wars YouTube video, fucking I have Disney Plus, so I'll just like watch whatever. I've watched the Clone Wars how many times, dude? <laughs> I sh I need to rewatch Rebels because that one I've only watched once or twice. <laughs> Another thing that I binge around Christmas time is um, Angry Video Game Nerd. If you don't like know who he is, look up. I know his humor. Is like very, it's niche, and I don't just like the vulgarness of it. I just, I, I actually like like sometimes he, he comes up with like clever references. The vulgarness is just, you know, it's just there. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny, but it's not like the thing that I like about it, you know. How did that? Oh, I'm like, how did that reach me? He fucking swung at the air, bro. But it was the one on the ground, I think. But they must have now. Nah, they must have hit me at the same time because this build should be able to take a hit. I thought my dog had aggro. Bitch. Oh, no, no, we're not making that mistake again. Oh, I definitely got hit by two at the same time. Because that one didn't hit me. Well, I mean, actually, it hit me very hard, but... It didn't hit me. Damn, my dog. Quiet, something's wrong. What are you talking about? No. 
God, this this build sucks because it has no mob clearing capabilities. I'm gonna go one by one. Oh my God, I thought it was reloading. Whoop. I'm slippery. It's so sad when the dog is, is on the ground. Thanks a lot. Okay, uh, yeah. Dick. That move fucking one shots. I got hit by it, thinking I would survive. Or, I mean, I got hit by it because I suck. But I, I, you know, I was like, I can survive full HP. I have five seconds to bulwark. I don't know if those swings one shot, because it's not like the swing. <laughs> what? Yo, bosses that like are annoying to try to hit like this, like they keep, like, and then uh, Phelan slash Phelan doesn't. I should just roll touch that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, nice. Hey, cool. But yeah, bosses like that that just keep going like immune or disappearing, like they're kind of frustrating. Hell? You know? Oh shit! Have you ever seen him delay it like that? That was super scary. Don't fucking move. Okay. Let's see. I do this to myself because I never rest at the fucking bonfires. So I never need to. I know. Ah! Hey! Cool. Ay, ay, ay. So this build actually hits decently hard for, for investing so much into tankiness. bad hello fucking meatball come here hit shoot please reload faster Oh, whoa, how did I? Oh no, I should've went for the weak spot to extend. Oh, I got it, nice. Cool. Alright, I gotta remember he does a one shot. Come on, doggy, get up. He's so cute.
that hit the dog? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I was being cheap with my ammo. Oh my god, that was scary. What the hell? What a U-turn! <laughs> oh, I almost extended. Cool. Oh shit! <laughs> Dougie! How's this dog get, get fucked up so bad? I have uh I have the the doggy traits. <laughs> doggy treats. <laughs> I have the, the, the health increasing for the pet and stuff. Oh, that was so cool. Please, please. Ah! Oh, no, please. No, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Doggy, kill it! Nice. <laughs> if I died there, I would have just turned the game off. Fuck that. Oops, wrong way. So, yeah, so... This build actually hits fairly hard for what it is. Pretty good.